guys. Uh, here we are still up in the hills of Vermont. Uh, going down to my friend's house this morning. Uh, a guy named Paul, member of the church here. And uh, going to make myself a raking tool. Um, some of the things, I'm, well, it's almost, it's, it's a, just part of the deal that when you cut a, cut a deck out, you're going to, you leave a, a perimeter around just inside your toe rail. And I've got about a three inch maybe perimeter and the, there's still old coring up inside of that, that three inch, three inches left of deck there. And so what I'm doing, I'm <clears throat> taking uh, one of my dad's old screwdrivers, I, I, keep all of his good stuff but there's a really old one and I'm going to take that old screwdriver and probably have to heat it and bend it at 90 degrees so that I can make myself a little nice little raking tool that I can just reach up in that that three inch area and just kind of rake out all that old coring so that's what we're doing I'm just gonna um, just kind of mosey on down there and get that job done in the meantime, it just barely started raining, and so it's not going to be a pleasant morning. I was going to, you know, show, you know, scenes out the window of beautiful Vermont budding out and so forth. Well, two of the problems with that, it's raining. Number two, it ain't budding yet. <laughs> it's still only about 45 degrees this morning. All right, we'll catch you later. We'll uh, see you down at Paul's place, and I'll uh, probably set up and just let you watch what I'm doing. It ain't no big deal. Everybody does this kind of stuff. But uh, I, I want to make that raking tool so I can get this job done. And uh, that's the most efficient way to do it. So we'll see you when we get down there. A little more? Yeah, a little more. I'm at night, almost 90 degrees. Good grief, Paul. I wasn't asking you to do the whole project here, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is, I, I knew that this was going to be perfect. That We're good. That's perfect. All right. Perfect. Great. <clears throat> now, Thank you. I'm going to say I had some water here somewhere. All right, so that's it. <clears throat> yep. 90 degrees. We're going to be a perfect raker for on the boat. Well, that was a big whoopee, huh? <laughs> Took all about three minutes and the whole job is done anyway so all right so i got my nice little raker that i'm going to be using on the boat okay so i'm back at the house i get out my little bench vise and uh i'm gonna go ahead and just sharpen this a bit uh even though this will be a good raker raker just like it is i want to be able to have a bit of a sharp edge on this so that as i reach back in there i'm able to go ahead and and actually cut into or you know ba basically have an edge to rake out and cut uh, the old rotted fiberglass, uh, yeah, fiberglass, the old rotted coring. So, I've got a fairly decent file bastard here. This is a, um, this one I got from my wife's uncle, who is now departed. And uh, he worked at Sturm Ruger uh, Gun Company and they uh in quality control and they these files were used by the gun craftsmen as they were doing finish work on the guns and the guns um after they'd use them two or three times they'd just throw them out uh you know like a you know like a dime store toy or something but uh anyway um he had a bunch of these and i'm and he, I think he offered to just give me a bunch. So I, I took them and I tell you what, there's still a lot of good tooth left in these. You notice I'm all, all always filing or yeah, filing just in one direction. You don't go back and forth. The whole idea of a file is that it cuts one direction. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over. And uh, let's see if I can do this. It's not gonna be easy this way. Okay, I think we're just going to have to do like this. Like that. And we'll see if we can. Well, that's no knife, that's no knife edge, that's for sure but it's getting there. Oh yeah, it's getting much better. Yeah, we're 
get in there. Alright. I think we're going to go back to the other side. Slowly but surely taking this down. there. We're almost there. Alright. I think one more pass on the other side and we're good to go. Yeah. That's getting much better. And I'm going to clean this up with some steel wool. Um, this was my dad's, one of my dad's old screwdrivers, and it's, it's, it's no prize. I mean, this was probably a fairly inexpensive screwdriver in its day. Uh, the reason I prized it was just because it belonged to dad. I've got a set of his that are far nicer, newer, but I chose this to, for a specific purpose because it is not one of his better ones, and, um, and it, it means something to me that it's a raker that I'm using on the boat. Uh, and and it, it did used to belong to dad and now has a very special purpose. Okay, that's it. That's good enough. Got a pretty good edge on it. Like I said, it's not a knife edge, but it'll work. It'll, uh, it'll work. That'll cut into it. Yeah, much better. Much better than when I was just a screw screwdriver edge. So anyway, that's it. And uh, we now have a nice little raker. I'm going to get some steel wool, clean this up a bit, and we're, we're good to go. And uh, take this down to the boat and get to work up on that deck. So there it is. All cleaned up, oiled, and sharpened. And when I was cleaning it up with some sandpaper and steel wool... I almost cut myself because that is, even though that is not a knife edge, <laughs> it's pretty stinking sharp. That's going to work just fine. So, yeah, that's a nice little raker for uh, working up on the deck. Looking forward to it. Get down to the Cape this weekend. So, take this with me. It goes right in the toolbox right now. Hey, thanks for joining me on this little venture of uh, making a tool. So, all right, take care, bye. Good evening, and here we are in the downstairs hallway. I've just been on the bandsaw and with a good deal of sanding for about the last half hour. What I've got here is two fair leads. I got them taped together just so they kind of look identical as I get, do all the finish work on them. But um, I had initially thought, and I'm not sure where this is going yet, I decided to do these just to at least experiment with the design once I get down to Little Girl. But the idea, instead of bringing both the jib and the main halyard back to starboard, which was the initial idea, I thought, well, maybe I can split them. In other words, go uh, uh, main back to starboard, uh, jib back to, back to port. And that way that you would have two fair leads. Uh, they would, these would go... Uh, just in front of the runners for the ha the hatch hatch slides, um, and uh, it would ju just sneak just past it to to be able to get it out around the end of those, and then run it back along the top of the cabin right out near the edge. Uh, well, it's probably about six inches, six or seven inches by the time you get back to the companion. Uh, yeah, to the companion way back to the uh, cockpit. But anyway, um, I just decided to, to try, you know, to use these just for design sake and see how they look, uh, see if it's something that'll be workable. Uh, it obviously, it'll be going to be a half inch hole going through here. It's only five sixteenths line, but I decided to give it a good, uh, nice big opening for the the line to pass through. So I'm going to do about a, maybe a half inch and uh, smooth it all up and have it tapered 
uh, around the edges, uh, smooth out around the edges to where that the, the line could travel through, and then uh, out one going out to port that way, and then one going out to starboard that way, and um, you get the idea. So anyway, I just decided to spend a little time on the bandsaw and a little bit of time sanding, and uh, we'll take these down to the Cape. I'm not even going to finish them out. I just want to uh, uh, see how they look up there, and uh, uh, yeah, just just thinking this through. Um, but meantime, we're heading down to the Cape this weekend, and hang on just a minute. I'm going to turn this around. Down to the Cape this weekend. Uh, going to be going down Sunday afternoon. Going to be down there till Wednesday. And from right now, you know what it's all about. I'm going to be back up on that deck. And uh, Monday, again, looks like a great day. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any problem getting just uh, pretty much maybe even finishing up uh, prepping the deck. Uh, then on Tuesday, we got some rain coming in in the morning, but then it's going to clear uh, I'm going to set everything up on Monday to be able to work in down inside the cabin on Tuesday. Uh, I want to pr uh, prepare from below that really, really bad spot that we've got that uh, um, is just right through from uh, from top side down through the pan. And I need to prep that and uh, start sanding and, and getting that all worked out so that we can uh, lay some glass. And uh, I don't know that we'll get to the glasses trip, but I'm tr I'm trying to get that whole really bad section uh, prepped out so that uh, when we get a really good day, we can get that glass down and, and start making some serious repair uh, before we start putting down coring. Anyway, that's it for tonight, guys. I uh, just wanted to share that with you, one of my ideas. And uh, we will just we'll see where all this goes. I mean, it uh, may go nowhere, but I wanted to uh, make these and give them a try, and uh, we'll see how they look. See if it'll is something that'll work for the whole design of of getting those halyards back to the cockpit. Well, we're back on the Cape, and uh, looks like I've got some rain coming in tomorrow. But for right now, what we're going to do is go take a look at the boat and talk about what we're going to be doing. Um, uh, you know, we're I'm going to be able to get some work done on. Uh, the boat, but it, it looks like on Monday, which is tomorrow, um, I may be on the inside of the boat working on prepping from below uh, that that really, really bad area in the pan, um, trying to get that sanded out, cleaned up as best I can, and support it from below, and uh, then we'll kind of go from there. Okay, well, let me turn around. Let's go take a look at the boat and see where we're at, and uh, then uh, oh, let me just tell you what the plans are. All right, guys, it took me a while to set this up, but here we go. We're in the V-Birth Cubby area, uh, looking up inside, and you can see all the areas that are really bad here. This is where the screwdriver went through. And so what I'm going to try to do, I've got some 60-grit sandpaper. I'm laying on my back looking up in here, so let's see if we can get this done. I don't know how... This may require using the, using the Dremel. Basically from the underside, I think what we're going to try to accomplish here is get things to the point where I, uh, where I can get get a flat enough surface okay. hit this with some acetone hit this with some acetone and we'll get a, we'll get things to the point where we can secure a support up here uh, so that from above we'll do all the, the sanding and getting it down to bare uh, bare fiberglass and then and then by supporting it here we can go ahead and lay glass down up on top uh, that will help to, uh, you know, and that th what we do down here will support it. I've got one or two ways to do it. I've got some uh, some gorilla tape to try to hold stuff up, but I'm also going to maybe cut a piece of uh, a piece of um, uh, what you call it, a uh, piece of ply. Well, I've already been sanding on this for a while, and uh, I thought this was recording already. Let me let me go ahead and, and do some more on this because 
I've got some 60 grit sandpaper here, and I've been getting it, and it is slowly destroyed. getting down the very last. And it doesn't need to from below. The whole idea is to clean this up so that I can put a support underneath this. And once that support is underneath it, then I can glass from above. All right, well, I'm gonna measure out some plywood and uh, see if I can't screw down from above and hold it in place and then we can just get some glass down from up above. Okay, so I'll show you my latest concept and uh, it's actually gonna be a combination of what I did yesterday, but on this piece of, of thin plywood and it fits right up here on top of the shelf. Right like that. And we just take it and brace it. I wish I, I wish I could get some screws in, but there's no way from this vantage point. I wish I could get some screws right up through. But right there, let me see if I can pull this back a little bit. Right like that. And then, then pull it right up tight. And if I put screws in from above, that, that thing would be awesome. It would just suck that right up tight. And then we could uh, um, do the fiberglass work. Uh, with a good solid base to it. Uh, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is use that, that uh, cardboard I showed you in the last video and brace it in such a way that it's holding this up as best I can. And uh, we'll see We'll see what we can do from above. Uh, it's, it's a new day, by the way. Um, this is Tuesday, and we don't have any rain today. We're, we're finally got past it about 8.30 this morning. All the rain is out of here, so... I'm back up on the boat and uh, trying to get the, some work done on this. And uh, for too long, once I get this in place, I'm going to go ahead and pull the uh, pull the tarp off the whole front of the boat so we can get to work up on the foredeck. So anyway, that's where we're at. All right, let's see. Here we go. Well, guys, that's tucked up about as tight as I can get it. It's about as tight as I can get it. It's right. Pretty much, pretty much up there. If I put some screws in from above, we may be able to hold it a little bit tighter. But uh, the idea is it's up there in a good solid way so that uh, it's not going to move when I start working on it from above and try to get some screws down through it. So um, anyway, that'll hold that as a solid, I think, anyway, <laughs> I think, hopefully, fingers crossed, I think that'll hold nice and solid until we can... Uh, firm it up and uh, sand everything from above and get some glass in on top uh, but that repair has got to be made uh, it's just hey this is one of the things you go through when you're tearing up a deck and putting in a new one the uh, the piece of plywood that I stuck up underneath there and that's pretty much jammed up underneath so obviously I'm, I can't put the screws through right around where all the fiberglass work is going to be so what i'm going to do is go back away from it because that plywood extends way out here i'm going to put a screw in like way up here and down here but down in here in other words i'm going to try to make the hole big on big through the fiberglass and small through the plywood so that it will grab it and suck it up and uh once i get everything secured down that way uh, and I've already vacuumed that clean, by the way. I, I, had, I brought a, a shop back up here and, and vacuumed all the crud out of there. Uh, so there's nothing from keeping it from going down nice and tight. So anyway, let me go ahead and get started on this and uh, we'll see how this goes. I, I'm going to got my drill up here and I'm going to get it started. Okay, so uh, this is all set. Nice and tight. Everything's good. The only thing I don't like is that this section right here is is pushing up it's warped badly and so what i'm going to do i'm going to take my my uh, dremel tool and just cut that section off and then i'm going to get some of the uh well what is the name of that stuff the stuff that you uh use uh oh, see, bu -bu 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 -bu. uh peel ply i'm going to get some peel ply from down the cabin and i'm going to slip it all up underneath all the way around some peel ply uh, underneath this and so you won't even see the plywood at all. And it'll be tucked back up underneath the whole repair area. Uh, before I do that, though, as soon as I cut that section off, I'm going to use uh, my Dremel tool 
and uh, put the sander on it and sand out this whole area. Try to get it down as close to just uh, pure fiberglass as I possibly can uh, without it just uh, going all to pieces. And then when that, that's all sanded out, then I'll put the peel ply in and uh, we will think about making the repair. But, but meantime, I've got all this to do. I've got, I've got lots of work to do around the deck and I want to finish that little block up there that shouldn't have been left. So anyway, um, right now I'm going to go ahead and, and, and uh, cut that section off, and, uh, and uh, may, I may even hold off on the sanding. I've got so much of the rest of this uh, deck to do. Uh, I think I'm just going to cut that off, sand it a little bit, and then that, that's it for now because I've got, I want to just get, get to work on the rest of the, uh, the old coring that's got to come up before we can do the, do the new core. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like from below. I can see I missed the edge with one of those screws. Hmm. That's one of the fat ones too. I think it, you know what? It still bit into the edge and pulled it up. That's the real weird part of it. <laughs> I almost completely missed it, but it bit into the edge and pulled it up. So I got a total of four screws in it now. You can see the one that I missed there. But you know what? It's good and tight. Good and tight right to the right up to the bottom of that. Anyway, yeah, I like it. And uh looking at it from above, it's good and tight too. So um I think we're good. Once we sand that out up above and get some glass down, we'll go ahead and pull the screws right out. I mean once once the glass is already down, I'm not gonna need it. Um I don't think that uh like I said, we're gonna I'm gonna try to um, get some of the uh, peel ply, which I've got in this pack right behind me here as I'm laying down in the rebirth. Anyway, I'm gonna get some peel ply and kind of stuff it all down in around the hole uh, where we're gonna be laying the glass down, and that way it won't stick to the plywood, and the plywood will still be there to give it a good backing. So, hey, okay. Uh, another another part of the project uh, readied for the, the future uh, glassing, etc. So, there we go. Guys, that's it for uh, part number one of deck prep. Um, as you might imagine, uh, the work went on far beyond what I uh, what you see in this first uh, first video of it. Um, but I, I just wanted to get all that in about uh, trying to secure that really bad opening through the de uh, through the pan. Um, it's done, uh, and uh, and I'm, I'm just really all ready to go ahead and, and glass that. But but there are priorities, and there's still more work to do before we actually get to glassing. Uh, and there's a lot going to be a lot of repair work on the pan uh, before we ever get to putting in the coring. Anyway, that's it. Okay, so uh, thank you for stopping by another episode of Restoring Little Girl, and uh, I will catch you in the next video. Uh, and there'll be more to come. Uh, I, I don't know, about a week or so, I'll have another video out uh, with all the follow-up work that I did on the rest of the deck. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, nobody said that doing a deck is, is a short, easy work. It just, it takes a while. But anyway, well, thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you later and uh, come on back for the next episode. Take care. Bye.